So at a time when it's becoming increasingly clear that Russia has links with, well, Russia is sponsoring terrorism and has links with the downing of the Malaysian air flight, um, it's, uh, it's disturbing um, that we are not standing together against the tyranny of Putin, but also not getting the message out to the rest of Russia that um, this is not a NATO threat. This is a NATO defence. In the same way, it is worrying um, that there are politicians in Sweden, for example, who are rocking the boat so enormously uh, that uh, by, for example, burning a copy of the Quran, um, that uh, the Turkish president is almost obliged to rule out any way of endorsing Sweden's immediate membership of NATO. But Finland is, it seems today, preparing to go it alone. And Budapest has, for example, pledged that it would sign, um, uh, sign up to uh, Finland's membership. So has Ankara. Um, and, uh, or, or Ankara has not yet, actually, I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, al almost every other country in NATO has approved of this. Um, you know, Sweden, while it, um, uh, while, while there are politicians in Sweden who are burning the Quran, who are insulting other nations in this way, um, you know, it's going to be very difficult. I think, um, I think if the people involved in the book burning were not politicians, it might be a different matter. The problem is that they are politicians, albeit on the far right. Um, but I think we need to uh, tame the far right. We need to rec we need um, politicians across the world to recognise that there are bigger interests than their own. The interests here are about establishing world peace and establishing it in a dignified way. And that means there has to be a two-pronged and global response. First of all, to support Ukraine. And secondly, to get the message out to mainland Russia that, Ukraine, that uh, NATO is a defensive power did not start this war and has no intention of escalating this war. On the other hand, Mr. Putin is busy putting forward an entirely different scenario, which is extremely worrying. And it, uh, it, it at least gives him license to make a case for responding to, quote, NATO aggression, which I don't think exists. And it is very, very important to establish this. If we don't establish this, we will find Russia moving into Ukraine and moving its troops to the border of Poland. I don't think that will be in anybody's interests. I don't think it's actually in the interests of um, the wider Russia. It will keep um, people's children in the army for years, decades to come. That is not a positive development for Russian society. I think it is in everybody's interest to negotiate a dignified peace that allows Mr. Putin to retire with his head held, well, at least not if high, um, at, uh, at least not in a noose. I know there is an argument to say that um, he must be brought to justice. But the priority is to bring the world to peace. There are war crimes. They were committed by Russia. The evidence is pretty clear. Should Putin be charged? I think Putin needs to be got out of the way. And I think um, a negotiated peace must involve a change in leadership for the better. 
and this isn't about a demand for um, a, de uh, a, capitul a pit capitul capitulation or a decapitation of um, Russian society. It's a demand for a climb down. And I think that means a, um, a rethink by the current Russian administration. So the Hawks, the Hawks need to step aside.